and welcome. I'm Rashim from Oracle and I have Tahir with me from Mars Systems. Hi Tahir. Hello Rashim. So tell me more about Mars Systems. What does Mars Systems do? Yeah, Mars Systems is an IT services company. We do a lot of implementations and upgrade of enterprise systems. For example, Oracle EBS, uh, GRC, identity management and so on. Awesome. So let's talk about this EBS deployment that we have over here. Walk us through this architecture, please. Right. So we had an on-prem system for this customer, which was not performing as desired. So we decided to take the whole system and lift and shift it into uh, Oracle Cloud. For that, we built a standard EBS architecture in the cloud uh, using uh, standard best practices. And then how many servers are we talking about over here? We had altogether eight servers participating in, the, um, in this uh, EBS architecture. Four of them were application tier nodes. Two of them were uh, responsible for parallel concurrent processing. And the other two were, uh, were supporting web and form services. These servers were connected through a load balancer and the users would connect to the load balancer and they would get access to uh, the EBS. We had redundant network and all of these nodes were connected to the, to the network uh, using host bus adapters. We also had four rack nodes. Each of them were 16 cores, mm -hmm. uh, CPU and 256 GB of uh, memory. And so that's these, quite a bit of computational power over there. Th that's, that's the computational power that we needed to make sure that our performance is better than on-prem. Great. And then you had a challenge of moving all that data, the massive amount of data that you had on-prem to the cloud, right? right? We are talking about terabytes of data, somewhere between 10 to 12 terabytes of data. So if we were to, uh, to migrate or transfer this data over the network from on-prem to the cloud, it takes days. So we used Oracle Data Guard technology here to uh, in, in the cloud, we put it here, and we made sure that this Oracle Data Guard was in sync, up to date with on-prem database, and from here we carved out our RAG database. And uh, this, of course, happened multiple times during the course of the, um, uh, the project uh, as we went through various cycles and various iterations. So we ended up with our final product of EBS PRD, which was ready to roll out. And then uh, once it went live, uh, you moved Oracle Data Guard out of the... Right. Uh, once we uh, went live, we had two um, stacks in the cloud, which was EBS PRD and EBS QA were in the cloud. And we had three more supporting instances, EBS uh, patch, EBS dev, and EBS test that were on-prem. So since all these three supporting instances have the same uh, amount of data, we had a challenge of uh, uh, moving back, uh, backwards uh, 10 to 12 terabyte of data every time. So we moved this Oracle Data Guard to on-prem and we use this to continuously getting updates from the production system and out of that we would build or clone our supporting instances. And we also use this Oracle Data Guard for disaster recovery here. So our disaster recovery system was on-prem. Great. And then uh, you built out the SSO um, and the GRC stack as well, correct? Right. So the need for SSO stack was because the customer required single sign-on for their customers. Uh, even though Oracle EBS provides its own authentication and login uh, mechanism, but single sign-on means that uh, users can log in using their Windows credentials. So we make this work using the Oracle technologies in conjunction with Microsoft Active Directory. And uh, using Microsoft Active Directory uh, credentials, the users can log in uh, to EBS as well uh, seamlessly, and, and the user experience, uh, sign-on experience is much better. Great, and then the GRC stack? Yeah, GRC stack is used for governance and risk compliance. And uh, th this is used for a lot of uh, SOC uh, compliance and FDA and so on and so forth. That's a great implementation of um, EBS on OCI, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Thank you so much for sharing your architecture with You're us. You're welcome.